Hey everyone, Arlene here. Here I am, standing in my bathroom. And I'm just getting ready to put my hair up, I think, because y'all, look, I am trying so hard to get this, I had to go get my hair done Thursday. I don't know when I'll get this video up, but oh my heavens, it is just, I can't do anything with it. Look at the gray. In fact, I might just spray it like this. I was going to put it up, but I don't know. I don't think it, it even if it looks like this right at the second, it won't stay like this. The gray is coming out so much that it um, causes my hair to go flat. So I think I am going to go ahead and put it up, even if you can see the gray at the edges. Because I just can't stand it, you guys. I'm done put my makeup on. Chris and I are getting ready to head to lunch, I think. Let me see if I can get this up. Ouch. And then, the reason I started taping in my bathroom here is because I think I'm going to try to do that linen closet that has been giving me issues in my thoughts. <laughs> you know. What do you think? I think it might be up a little high. <laughs> I think I look like a poodle. Hang on. That's not going to work. Let's try this again. <laughs> oh, my heavens. I can't even... I've got so much product in it right now that I can't even get my hands through it. Because I've been trying to do everything I can to... Limp it along until Thursday. There we go. I think that's a little better. Uh, well, maybe not on this side though, huh? I don't really don't have to put any bobby pins or anything like that in it. It stays pretty well, especially when I go to. When I spray it into place, it'll stay put. What do y'all think? Check out the gray on the top, though. And I'm sure you can see gray on the sides, but it'll be all right. Okay, I'm going to get my hairspray out. This is what I use. I love my Redken. Triple take 32. 32 meaning it, it, it will really hold it into place. Because goodness knows I need it to be held into place. Be back up here. There we go. Hopefully. I'm going to wash it tomorrow, which will be Monday, uh, and then hopefully it'll get to Thursday without me having to wash it again. This is just one more day with it up. So, what do you think? How's it looking back? Look okay? All right. All righty, guys. Like I said, I was just finishing up in here. perfume on. I'm happy. I need to go out here and get a couple of pieces of jewelry on. Come with me. Come on out here. <laughs> I gotta go back in there and get my shoes. And I'm gonna use this watch. Chris got me this for Christmas. He's, a, he's the watch king. He always, I don't know, he has a, a, he has a 
favorite website where he always gets his watches. I don't know what it is, you guys. So there we go. Then let's see. Kristen and Stacy have gotten me a couple of Alex and Annie bracelets. I think I'll wear. That's from Kristen. Of course, I can't see what it says. It says mom on it. That's me. I'm mom. <laughs> and then Stacy got me this one. No, I'm lying. Kristen got me this one. Breath of Life. Stacy. Stacy says in here. I wear it all the time. There it is. She got me one with a doggy paw. Which I just love. So I'll wear that one too. And then I usually, I have, I love bracelets. And I like to always wear something that somebody got me. This, this poor, thing poor thing is about 500 years old. Chris got it for me one year for Christmas. And then I always wear my Brighton hearts that Kristen got me. So that's five bracelets today. I love bracelets. Love them. All right. That'll do it. I'm ready to go. So I'll be back in a little while and we'll do that closet. Not sure how, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> be back. Hey everyone. I'm back here at my linen closet. Welcome back to my country craft corner. So good to see you all again. Hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. And I missed you guys. Oh my goodness, I missed you guys. So I am finally <laughs> going to get to doing this linen closet today. So I'm going to set my camera up so that you guys can kind of see me empty everything out and transport everything out of here and put it over on my bed. And then we'll go through it and see what in the world I have here. We'll probably have three piles. One to keep and put back into the closet, one to go down in the basement, and one to go to Goodwill. Three piles. So come along with me as I clean out my linen closet and then I'm just going to put everything back neatly. As I explained in my car chit chat the other day, I am not going to put in like a shelving unit or any kind of used baskets that I would need to label or anything like that. I just, that just doesn't work for me. I can't imagine coming in here because I normally when I'm coming in here I've got something in my hands and I'm trying to just grab something out of here to take it and put it on a table or something. And I don't want to have to pull out a basket, find a place to sit it down, go through the basket. I'd rather just see everything piled up nicely and be able to grab whatever I need. So that's how I'm going to do it. It's nothing special, nothing, you know, out of the ordinary of probably anything that you guys do. And you probably do things a lot better than I'm going to. But... I'm bringing y'all along, and here we go. So I'm gonna move the camera, and I'll be right back in just a minute when I get everything set up, and then I'll probably fast forward through the part of me carrying it, because you don't need to see my back end going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We'll do it fast. <laughs> I dry. I'm just kidding. Anyway, I'll be right back. hot now goodness gracious I've got it all cleaned out except for the top shelf and I've decided I'm going to leave what is up there up there this is an electric blanket that we sometimes use on our bed in the winter time and a couple of extra pillows which I, you never know when you might need an extra pillow you know if somebody's sick or something and needs so I don't have to go up the steps to get one, I'm gonna go ahead and keep those in here. And then I have some picture frames 
and I very well might like to do something with them up here in this bedroom somewhere so I'm going to keep them there Then I have a candle that I leave in there with the lid off so that it smells good in the closet so there we go everything's done and out on my bed so let's take it out here and we'll start going through everything here I am <laughs> And I'm fixing to go through this stuff, but I'll try to show you what I have here as I go through things. I think I'm going to pull out all blankets that I have first and make sure that they are folded pretty much the same way. This was a beautiful, is a crocheted afghan that my dear friend, actually how I met Chris, her, her mama passed away and I adored her mama and she knew it and her mama crocheted all the time, all the time. And so she knew that I would really love to have a blanket. So she gave me this beautiful blanket. So this gets used in the winter time. This is a blanket, but this is not to be used to cover up with. This is a blanket that I use around the cozy corner in the family room to decorate for patriotic to put my patri go with my patriotic decorations and I did not want to put this in a bin so I put it up here so that might go in a different pile here's another blanket it has Virginia on it and all the places in, or some of the places in Virginia You can see where I'm putting things. This is a very, very special blanket to me. My great grandmother made this. This is a really old, old quilt. And it has some tears in it, I believe. I do pull it out every now and again. In fact, it has, look, a little bit of red and white gingham on it. So, and it has touches of reds and whites and yellows and greens. So I may bring this back out. This might be a good quilt to put over in that same cozy corner where I was talking about for the patriotic. This is one I pull out at Christmas sometimes. I got this from Cracker Barrel one year. Very pretty sculptured blanket. I did not use it this year anywhere. Remind me, I have this next year when I go to decorate for Christmas. <laughs> See what I mean? I have stuff in that closet and I don't even know what I have, you guys. So let me fold this up nice. This actually was Sam's. I have a dear friend, her name is Irene. Irene, if you're watching, she made this when I first brought Sam home. <laughs> and this used to be in his kennel. So, I'm not getting rid of this. It's too sentimental to get rid of this. For those of you who saw my reunion video, I had this outside on the patio. So, I just got this. So, this is new. I'll be keeping this. Now, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and move these back into the closet, and I'll show you when I'm done. At least these anyway. I'm separating things by color first and then we'll see where to go from there. So let's do this is a tablecloth that I use out in the living room sometimes as is this one. So these will stay together. And also, I have, should anyway, have placemats to go with each pillow because I put, I used placemats for doilies, as you guys know. This is what I just took off of the dining room table. 
I'm going to put on there after Christmas. So keep that, obviously. You know, when I bought these, I'm not going to get rid of them, but I purchased them maybe after Christmas next year or with my Christmas decorations. I'll put these on because I've got my ones that go with my, I'll show you when I come to them, with my red and white gingham. I've got there up there. I've got those and they'll go up next on my end tables and stuff in my family room. Maybe these could go with Christmas. We'll see. Not sure. Okay, here's some extra pillowcases. I don't have a lot of extra sheets. I have one set of extra sheets and I'm actually going to try to put that up on the top shelf with that blanket. Let me do that. Actually, they wouldn't fit up there, so I put them up by the blankets. This oh, is a spring table runner. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? See, I forgot I had this, you guys. This is why I have to go through this stuff. I don't know what I have for crying out loud. So that would have been pretty to use with my spring stuff somewhere, huh? This is a I have the blanket and a pillow. This is another pillow sham. That blanket I have out on the chair in my dining room is a twin size quilt. Or I think it's a twin size, but it came with two pillow shams. So I'm not gonna get rid of this. You know, I might probably use this. All right, let's see. I'm trying to think, what do I wanna keep in this basket? Do I wanna just do doilies? clean it out and get it situated these are this is the blanket that goes back out in my red wagon decor so I need to keep this kind of handy because it's going right back to this in just about a week or so so I need to kind of keep this on top wherever wherever I end up you know why because we bathe them in here in the shower sometimes better leave this in here actually okay let's see I have all kinds of burgundy this is one of my favorite little patterns. And I have all kinds of doilies and napkins and placemats. This is us usually what I have up at Christmas or at generic times of the year in my family room. So I'm going to keep all that together. This is a black and white kind of like a tea towel. I used this with my red and white gingham last year. Served for the for the reunion. These are just quilted. I'm gonna fold them this way. Quilted runners that I pair with this stuff. So keep that with them. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Look how cute. Again, I don't know what I have. I haven't even looked. It, this even has, stuck on my bracelets, look. Family gatherings from Home Goods. Check it out, isn't that cute? Why couldn't I use that with my red and white gingham, huh? That would pair nicely with that. What the heck? All right, red and white gingham pile. <laughs> I need to make a red and white gingham pile, what I'm gonna use for that. Like these towels. I think I had these hanging on my oven. I'll start making a red and white, I see a red and white gingham pile back there already started. All right, let me get back over here. Sorry, I digress. Here's more living room. I'll bring it over there so you guys can see. This red and white gingham, put it with that. More of that plaid. That goes over there, over there. I didn't use that. That matches these in here. More of this plaid. 
so patriotic. All right, so I'm gonna do all my quilted stuff in the basket, I think. I'll do all my quilted doilies and whatnot. I'll do maybe reds on one side. I don't know, it might just be all reds and burgundies in there. And then I'll use a shelf, because I don't have as many. Look at this pretty thing. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, you guys, I need to use this stuff. I purchased this again at Home Goods. I don't even know why. I probably saw it on sale or something. And so I have these. I have to remember I have these things so I can come back here and grab them up. I had a friend of mine make me this. Isn't that pretty? And I pair it with this gold tablecloth sometimes. So, but I'm going to put that. This would also be beautiful on at, in the fall. And then I also, Chris and I found these. Actually, you guys, we might be going to Williamsburg this week. Kristen is on spring break, and she wants to go to Williamsburg on a day, and I would love to go. So if I do, I don't know that I would take you all into everywhere we go, because, <laughs> well, we don't go that many places, to be honest. We go into Coach, Duty, and Burke, and the Yankee Candle flagship store. And I'm probably gonna be, we're probably gonna be going before I get my hair done, so God help us all. But anyway, this that is where we, Chris came up to me when we were in there. Bless his heart, he always has his eyes open too for things that he knows I like. <laughs> probably because he was bored and he just kind of came across these. But I do use this as a table runner. And I have had this on the uh, sideboard in the living room. That, and then, and they're reversible placemats. That's where we got these, and then we got round ones too. So that's where we got those from, the Yankee Candle flagship, flagship store. I'm not sure if that's what it's called, be, on you. be honest with you, something like that. The hills. I don't have extra towels down here. I don't normally uh, keep extra towels down here because we use the same two towels and I wash them a couple times a week and I put them right back up. So they're nice towels, you know. So we went ahead and bit the bullet and spent some money on the nice towels and then, you know, we have these lovelies left over and I'm keeping them. They could be rags. I actually have a, a rag cabinet, one of the cabinets in the laundry room, and I'm going to put these in there. I don't know why they're back here. I don't have to. I'm going to take these to Goodwill. These are things that you put under uh, rugs to keep them from slipping, and we don't need them. None of our rugs slip, so these will go to Goodwill. Obviously, I put my fall stuff away, but neglected to grab a couple of towels, and it looks like I did the same thing with the Christmas. <laughs> so I will pile up all of the holiday-ish towels. These are also, oh look. I did not use these this year. You know why? Because I forgot I had them. Isn't that awful? Jeez. All right, look. I've got to remember these are back here. Merry and bright. So I'll make a big pile. Christmas and fall. And then I've just got our home. You know what I do with this more than I use it? I usually will tie this on to the side of a basket as decoration. So that will go in with the quilted stuff. This will go in with the quilted stuff. And I have our American flags that we do fly outside, several of them. I'm going to try to fit these up on that top shelf too. They will stay. This is toilet seat cover that doesn't fit because we have like the long, uh oh. Somebody's here, I think. <laughs> this will go to Goodwill. Mm -hmm. 
Chris is out there. So, and let's see. This is a very old cover for a very old heating pad. I believe this was my mom's. So, I will go ahead and put this back in there. See if I can fold this up pretty nice. I don't have to use, you know, you never know if you're going to hurt your back or something like that. Might need a heating pad. I don't have to use it too much anymore. But I've got this one and I've got a newer one. So I need to keep these, obviously. Okay, this, my dad brought us these back from the basketball tournament last year. And as he tries, to I don't know whether a lot of you may not have seen this video of mine when I took the tour through the country country store and remember I said remember those tea dyed doilies were $25 now these my grandmother made years and years and years ago but they were white and I wanted them tea dyed so all I did was get a big pot out and I put a, a bunch of tea bags probably 30 20 or 30 tea bags and really got some really deep tea steeped and then I dipped the doilies that I wanted to dye in that one I did that one I didn't do in the tea and some I dyed obviously darker than others and let them soak in there and pull them out and then you have nicely tea dyed doilies if you have old doilies that have been sitting in a drawer that maybe your grandma made or your mama made or something like that and you want to do something with them but you don't like the color you know my mom used to dye stuff all the time not tea dye but she used to use like dye and like dye pants and stuff I've never done that but why not use some tea some tea and dye some doilies if you you know decorate country-ish and these would look nice why not put them on a bedside table or something how pretty so I will definitely not be getting rid of these and I don't regret doing it I know a lot of people might regret um, you know they might think they might regret you know doing that anyway I, I did not regret doing the tea dye on these so these will probably go on top over there all right now let me come over here for a sec i have you may ask why i have two sizes well these are two sizes of red and white gingham tablecloths one i had for the dining room table and one i had for the kitchen table and for the family reunion i'm going to keep both of these because our table still has another leaf in it that I could use. So I'm going to actually keep both of these red and white gingham tablecloths. They are not going anywhere. And this is my like my Thanksgiving tablecloth. So and napkins. So I'm keeping these. Obviously all of this stuff goes back in. This mm, yeah. Goodwill pile. Okay back over here to the reds as I said this is all my red and white gingham this is all stuff I'm going to be using very soon this is a, a plaid tablecloth you know what though this barely fits on my table but if we take a leaf out of it it will so I will keep this Let me put this in with the red and white gingham pile I'll use this more as decoration. Live well, laugh often, laugh, love much. 
And then this is obviously <laughs> fall. Again, something that just got stuck somewhere. like things together. I'm gonna put the top, hold this the other way. This is really pretty. Quilted for, with my Patreon. this I think I will be able to fit onto shelves so let me put this back actually I'm going to take my camera back in there and then I will video myself putting things back so I'll be right back I'm going to grab the camera off of here and then pan down so that you guys can see everything in detail. So I'll say goodbye to you in person right now. Okie dokie, here we go. Now that shelf does not look the best, obviously, but I don't often use that blanket. I very want the pictures pizza. kept up here because I might do something with them and there's the flags and a couple of extra pillows. There's all my blankets and my one extra set of sheets. There's my Thanksgiving or fall table cloth and runner and napkins. And then these are the tablecloths I use throughout the rest of the year. One for the, and then remember this, the littler one I had on the dining room table. When I go to decorate for, in the red and white gingham, I'm not going to be using or decorating the living room and dining room. I'm only going to be doing the back of the house. But that tablecloth would fit on the kitchen table if I ever took the leaves out. So I want to keep that. Because you never know what's going to happen in the future as far as that goes. And then here's everything that I often change out in the living room and dining room. So everything's together there. And I kept the... Now I know what table runners I have. And hopefully we'll remember to come back and get them. There's all the towels, extra hand towels, and the heating pad, and the smells good candle, and a one towel, just in case we need it for a dog who gets a bath. And then all of my red and white gingham stuff is ready and waiting for me to grab, and then underneath of that is all the burgundy plaid and anything else I might need throughout the rest of the year. As I said, this is my one and only linen closet in the entire house. Everything else, like sheets and stuff for upstairs, are kept in either dressers or the closets upstairs. So there we go, you guys. I finally, finally, finally finished. <laughs> it only took me how long to finish, but I finally finished that linen closet. So I am really happy about that, that we finally got that done. So anyway, I am going to say, I'm bushed. So, until next time.